Hi guys, Mark is here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, March 24th, 2024. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 811 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Legend of the Female General with Zhou Ye and Cheng Lei wraps filming. The Best Thing announces their lead cast of Zhang Linghe and Xu Rohan. Zhao Lu was in Macau for the grand opening of Palazzo Versace. And He Sai Fei's run in with the paparazzo goes viral. We'll get to the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week as we do every Sunday. But first, here's what's recently premiered, two dramas for today and the past few days. There's Guess Who I Am, a modern drama starring Zhang Yixi and Wang Zixi. It premiered on March 22nd. According to Yuku, Zhang Yixi is Song Yao, an attractive woman who is part of an organization that takes down wealthy and unkind men. If any wealthy man who's a constant liar looks at Sung Yao for three seconds, he will fall in love with her and be at her mercy. However, her electric eyes fail her when she comes across the prince of the Cheng Tian group. That is because he's actually the con artist Qing Hao, played by Wang Zixi. Guess Who I Am is slated for 24 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs. Then there's Five Kings of Thieves starring Darren Wang and Ren Ming. The fantasy Republican era drama premiered on March 23rd. According to Baidu, Darren Wang plays a commoner who comes across a national treasure and protects it from the people who want to sell it. He meets Ren Ming's character, a girl who chooses to accompany him on his mission even at the disapproval of her family. Five Kings of Thieves is slated for 12 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs. That's it for premiere dates, moving on, drama wraps. Legend of the Female General is an upcoming costume drama starring Zhou Ye and Cheng Lei. On March 20th, images from their rap ceremony made the rounds on Weibo. There was plenty of fanfare on the day, here is Zhou Ye posing for photos and saying goodbye to fans. Here is Cheng Lei interacting with fans and accepting gifts. Here is an official photo shared on Weibo of the two stars with their rap bouquets. Here are supporting actors Zhang Kangle and Zhang Miaoyi. Ma Tianyu, pictured here on the right, puts in an appearance as well. The drama had started filming at the end of November last year. It was an almost four-month film shoot with director Jeffrey Chiang at the helm. Jeffrey also directed The Longest Promise and The Myth. According to Baidu, in Legend of the Female General, Zhou Ye is He Yan, a girl who disguises as a boy to join the army. While there, she meets Cheng Lei's character, Xiao Jue, who thinks she's a spy and targets her at every turn. The drama, which is based on the web novel Rebirth of a Star General, is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on Tencent. And just one more piece of rap update. The story of Pearl Girl, formerly known as The Legend of Jewelry, and starring Zhao Lu Si and Liu Yuning, wrapped last week. I'd covered it in a video then. A couple of days ago, on the 20th, they followed up with a rap video, which showcases a bunch of behind-the-scenes stuff, and of course, some rap moments. The video is available to view on YouTube. Here's a screenshot of it with the drama's new title. From drama raps, we go to drama bootings. I have two for you guys today. We begin with Who's Lying, an upcoming modern drama starring Zhou Dongyu and Peng Guanying. Here are a couple of leaked photos from the booting ceremony in Haikou City. Production has kept things very much on the down low. They don't have any official stills or even a Weibo page yet. This is the only poster that Yuku has shared. It is reportedly a suspense drama that revolves around forensics investigation. According to a synopsis on NetEase, Zhou Dongyu plays a forensics doctor who teams up with Peng Guangying's character to solve a bizarre case. Things get interesting for them both when Zhou Dongyu's twin sister, quote unquote, comes back from the dead. Filming for Who's Lying has been underway for about a week. Here is Zhou Dongyu in the blue uniform. And here are the two leads filming on a beach.
No word yet on episode count, but it will stream on Yuku. Then there's The Best Thing, which on March 20th announced their lead cast of Zhang Linghe and Xu Rohan. The modern drama also shared images from their booting ceremony. Here are the two leads flashing red envelopes. Here's one of the entire cast and crew. Zhang Linghe's last drama to air was Story of Kunning Palace with Bai Lu. The best thing is his first lead role in a modern drama since 2021's Flourish in Time. Xu Rohan, on the other hand, has mostly done modern dramas in her career. She last had a supporting role in last year's The Hope. The best thing follows the romance between a hotel manager who suffers from insomnia and her doctor, a practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine. It is slated for 24 episodes and will stream on iQIYI. And that's it for drama updates. Celebrity updates are next. Today, we begin with Yang Mi and Leo Wu, who were at a Loa Wei event recently. Here they are posing on either side of film director Jia Zhangke. On March 21st, the Spanish brand with a German name held their Crafted World exhibition in Shanghai. The two were among the many celebrities in attendance. Others there included Kara Hui, Yan Quan, and Zhang Wanyi. Here is a video of Yang Mi and Liu Wu having some drinks and getting some DJ spinning tips from the brand's creative director, Jonathan Anderson. 37-year-old Yang Mi recently had two dramas past review, Red Packed Moon and In the Name of the Brother. 24-year-old Leo Wu stars in the recently aired Amidst a Snowstorm of Love. Also at an event recently was Cao Lu Si. On March 23rd, the 25-year-old actress was in Macau to attend the grand opening ceremony of the Palazzo Versace Hotel. Here are some of the images her studio shared on the night. In this video clip, she speaks briefly with the event's host, who addresses her as Rosie. Welcome to Macau, Rosie, he began. Regarding her look, he said, I'm quite surprised because the you I'm seeing now is not the you we usually see. You're dressed very stylish and cool today. Lusa replied, Today I'm dressed according to the look in the commercial. He then asked how she felt when she found out she was invited to the event, to which she replied, Because I really wanted to come and experience being in this hotel, I was very excited. As I mentioned earlier, Cao Lusa recently wrapped filming the story of Pearl Girl with Liu Yuning. Next up for celebrity updates, a celebrity paparazzi interaction video that went viral. It involves He Saifei. In a video that went viral on March 21st, the 60-year-old actress is seen pointing what looks like a scepter at a paparazzi photographer. The scepter plus the black cape really makes it look like a scene out of a movie, as if she's casting a spell on someone. As the photographer backs away, she is heard yelling several times, Give me your phone! Give me your phone! Who told you to film us? Many netizens expressed their appreciation for the actress's angry rebuke of the photographer. Netizens left comments like, Well done! And Yang Chiu Hong is not someone to be trifled with. Yang Chiu Hong is the fierce and outspoken character He Saifei played in the 2001 drama The Grand Mansion Gate, Da Jai Men. He Saifei has a supporting role in the upcoming Yang Zi drama, Best Choice Ever. And that's it for celebrity updates. Before we get to this week's top 10, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell button for notifications. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. On that note, it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas of the Week, edition 215, March 24th, 2024. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. They provide top drama charts every day. In this segment, the drama standings are based on their 7-day total points, beginning last Sunday and ending yesterday. We begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, 
Aichi and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10, Pegasus, the modern drama stars Hu Xianxu and Wang Yanling. Number 9, Eternal Brotherhood, the costume drama stars Yang Xuwen and Liu Yining. Number 8, Growing Pains of Swordsman, the costume drama stars Sun Yichou and Lyric Lan. Number 7, Chinatown Detective Season 2, the modern drama stars Roy Chu and Shang Yuxian. Number 6, White Cat Legend, the costume drama stars Ryan Ding and Zhou Qi. Number 5, The Hunter, the modern drama stars Zhang Sung Wen and Annabelle Yao. Number 4, Young An Dream, the costume drama stars Ouyang Nana and Jeremy Xu. Number 3, Everyone Loves Me, the modern drama stars Ling Yi and Zhou Ye. Number 2, Burning Flames, the costume drama stars Ellen Ren and Fair Singh. And number 1, In Blossom, the costume drama stars Xu Jingyi and Liu Xueyi. In Blossom is championed for the first time since its premiere. It garnered 579 points. Next up, here are the top 10 Chinese TV dramas of the week. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 10, Imagination Season, the modern drama stars Jia Nailiang and Bridget Chiao. Number 9, War of Faith, the Republican era drama stars Wang Yipo and Li Qing. Number 8, The Gate of Xuan Wu, the costume drama stars Ren Zhong and Tong Lei. Number 7, Above the Rivers, the modern drama stars Van Gogh Gao and Cheng Shu. Number 6, Islands, the modern drama stars Xu Fan and Sandra Ma. Number 5, Always on the Move, the retro drama stars Bai Ting Ting and Ding Yong Tai. Number 4, Angels Fall Sometimes, the modern drama stars Lani Li and Ling Yi. Number 3, O to Joy Season 5, the modern drama stars Maggie Jiang and Ora Yang. Number 2, The Legend of Shen Li, the costume drama stars Xiao Li Ying and Lin Kenxing. And number 1, Simple Days, the modern drama stars Chen Xiao and Tong Yao. Simple Days ends the week with 558 points, making it champion for the first time since its premiere. And as I mentioned on Thursday, The Legend of Shen Li premiered on Monday, so it was one day short of points. But as expected, it's been at the top of the daily charts since its premiere. Next week, should see it break 600 points and be champion. And there it is guys, hope this gives you an idea of what dramas are hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas perform. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great week and I'll see you guys Tuesday. As always, stay safe and I wish you clear blue skies, good health and happiness. Until next time, cheers.